Oh, hey folks, thanks for dropping by. I'm in my favorite chair on a snowy day with a fire going, finishing images. It's kind of a nice way of doing it. Rather fun. Speaking of fun and productive, got something cool I want to share with you. Yeah, I finally got it. I got my Intuos 5 tablet. To say it rocks is an understatement. If you have a two or three or four, that's so yesterday. This is, this is way cool, okay? Couple of things, right off the bat, no wires. Much better than the old Bluetooth model is the new wireless. You get the wireless kit, plug it into the USB, and this will work beautifully. I'm telling you, no, no problems at all. I love it. You're probably used to using the pen tool, what we call the Pixel Saber. It does a great job, okay? It's the same one you're used to. Same super pen sensitivity there, the point. I love it. But what's even better about this, okay, is that, yeah, you can see here and work. Do your... Your normal stuff with the pin, okay, works great. But guess what? I can take the pin go over here and use this. Yeah, I can drive what's going on with my fingers. I love it. In fact, I can sit there and do some basic stuff with one finger, okay? Moving up and down, changing stuff. But what else can you do? You can use two fingers, magnify, okay? Do other things right off the bat with basic um, default programming. And what, of course, is very cool about Wacom and their, their products, you can customize it, okay? So even your finger swipes, you can completely customize what you want to do, which I really love, okay? But they've also got the Express Keys. The Express Keys is a little bit different than the four, but better, okay? So you can sit there and program these as well. So let me show you how I, I program mine that makes this, 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 not only is really fun tool, but one that's really fast when it comes to finishing. All right, so this is what I do to program my Intuos 5, all right? So you notice I have Photoshop open. Uh, this is the way I do it because it's fast and easy. Click on the plus sign. I should probably go back here. Under Applications, it says All. I don't want All. I'm going to program just my Photoshop, so I'm going to click on Photoshop. Say OK. Now you'll see that icon is highlighted there. Then for the pin, all right, the first thing I'm going to do is that the very bottom of the toggle Right here, I'm going to sit there and make that a keystroke. Click on the word space. And then I'm going to type in move. And that way, I don't have to hold down the space bar when I move an image around in Photoshop. I can just simply click on the bottom pin, and away I go. This top one, I sit there, I'm going to change that to a double click. Uh, I'm sorry, to my right click. And then I'm going to go to the eraser, and I make the eraser the double click. Pretty simple stuff, pretty straightforward. Now let's go to the, the Express Keys. So right there you can see the grip, the grip pin was, it should be called Pixel Saver, really. Let's get some imagination here. They call themselves Wacom, it should be Pixel Saver. Anyway, we're not going to have that highlighter and go to our Express Keys. This is real simple. All right, so these are the defaults. And all you do is touch any one of the, of the buttons on the, on the Intuos 5, and you'll see this come up over here. And I'm going to do is change this. So the top one right here, okay, the keystroke. And for me, it's going to be Control J. So I hold down the Control key, hit the letter K or J, J and then I'm going to type in Control J. Click OK. This one here, okay. Again, keystrokes, key stroke, and uh, let's see here that one there, Control J. This one here is what I call the super undo which is the control alt Z or command option Z and I just call it super undo it undoes steps inside Photoshop this one here another keystone and this is my stamp visible that's shift control alt E or command option shift E that's stamp visible and I use that all the time. So rather than having to sit there and hold down all those keys that you see up there, one button on the Express and boom. This bottom one is one another one of my favorite. And this is going to be my control content aware fill. Shift F5. And that's content aware. This is really just so too cool. Then these bottom set of, of buttons. Uh, my top one is going to be Control W. Okay, closing the file, and you can do anything you want. By the way, this is just what I do. That's all I'm showing you, um, and I do this because it just 
that two minute workflow that I'm looking to have, this is what I do to, to make it happen. Okay, this is control or command F. That repeats my last filter. So I mean, I'm, I'm trying, basically giving you my, my uh, what? I'm giving you my uh, keystrokes and express keys to speed. That's what I'm doing. This is the uh, save as, control shift S or command shift S. And this bottom one, right now I'm leaving it as the touch on and off. I haven't sat there and decided to change it yet, but that's what I'm doing. And then all I do is touch any of the express keys on my actual Intuos 5, and there you go. Control J, super undo, stand visible, content aware, control W, control F, save as, and that's the one I'm actually touching, physically touching, and touch on and off. That's really cool. Now the thing I haven't done, haven't got really, uh, really proficient at yet is the um, the touch one I haven't done any of these yet I'm still trying to figure out you know the standard gestures but you, look at this you can you can this is so cool you can do all that stuff and record you know three fingers whatever you want to do you can sit there and do it yourself well that's into us five what I want you to do is go out and buy one plug it into a USB port for at least six hours charge it up wait till that green light appears on the end Make sure you get the wireless kick because that's what really kicks ass. That's what I'm using right now. And then simply go and have fun. This is a productive, fun tool that, hey, you just can't live without. Thanks for dropping by. See you out there, folks.